Today's video, we're going to talk about how to connect your. We're going to talk about how to connect your MacBook Pro to this TV over here. Okay, I really need to clean this lens. Yeah, so, uh, let's see, pardon the mess, I really need to clean up in here, um, anyway, I did an unboxing video, unboxing this thing here, and, uh, I couldn't figure out how to get the thing put together, so, uh, anyway, um, I figured it out the other day, I already have my mouse and keyboard plugged in, we're going to plug it into the uh, this socket next to the. There we go. It's kind of hard to get in there. Anyway, um, anyway, this is a uh, specialized adapter. This end, of course, is Thunderbolt slash mini display. The other end is HDMI, and it is my understanding that this supports sound as well. Well, I've played with it for about a day or so, and it does, in fact, produce sound. I'll link you to where you can get this item in the description box below. I had actually gotten this from Amazon. It may take some time to get to your house, depending where you're at. Well, anyway, plug this end into your computer, like I have right here. Plug the uh, HDMI cord, like I have here. Make sure you plug the uh, HDMI cable to the back of your TV. Please note that your TV's make and model varies greatly. So with that said, we're going to go to this, we're going to turn on our TV. Back to my computer. Uh, the uh, format will change to match the uh, format of the TV screen, as you just saw right there. You see that? Now, if you look on my TV right here, it's mirroring the display. Which is awesome, because I'm severely nearsighted. Well, in any case, uh, let's go to... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go to system settings real quick. And... Uh, System settings. We're gonna go to once that loads up. We're gonna go to uh, display. I hope you can see that. I'm sorry for the shoddy camera work. Okay. So here we are. Why did this have to open? Let's move this out of the way. Let's yeah. Let's get rid of this window. Why did I do that? Let's try this again. Why does it do that? Mm. Uh, and a separate window appears. Let's uh, move this out of the way. All right. Um, actually, you know what? Let's open this window. That window will appear once the adapter is plugged in. So, uh, okay. Um, what we're going to do is go to arrange. And we're gonna, and you will see that this is OS 10 Yosemite, so uh, this is automatically, yeah, this is automatically checked. So if we uncheck it, it will change back. And let me turn my computer to the side for a bit. Oh crap. Okay. Now, now uh, we can actually move the mouse to the right. Watch this. You see that? Actually, you know what? Let's uh, move the mouse back over here. As you can see, 
we're dragging it over to the other screen. Mm, pretty much how we have a secondary monitor, which is nice. Well, let's put this back here. Okay. Um, actually, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to recheck it. I was just showing you how it works. Um, so, yeah. Let's close this out. All right. Okay. Now, watch what happens when we put when we close the laptop. Oh, I can't. Okay. Watch what happens when I close the laptop. It goes to sleep, but it wakes itself up automatically. Now, this works best if you have a mouse and keyboard hooked up like I have here. The only downside is I cannot use... Oh, where is it? Oh, here it is. The only downside is I have no place to plug my my USB hard drive, which is kind of sorry. I'll have to get another... Uh, I mean, I'll have to get an HDMI... Not an HDMI. I can't talk. I'll have to get another USB hub. Not an... I'll have to get a USB hub so I can connect it. So I can connect more than two things to my Mac. Yeah. So. Let's go to my keyboard and mouse. Now you'll see that a lot of the things are pretty much the same on the Windows based keyboard. The only difference is we're using a Mac so uh, let's... Uh, Open up the uh, virtual, yeah, let's open up the keyboard viewer. No, I don't want to, yeah. Let's show the keyboard viewer. It should bring it up any second now. There we go. It shows a standard Apple keyboard layout. So, um, let's, uh, type something. And it kind of changes to a, uh, Windows-based keyboard. I mean, it kind of changes into a keyboard that uses the keypad. And it kind of, for some reason, it's kind of cut off. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's perfect. Now, yeah. So, uh, you can kind of see that the function key is gone. Hold on. All right, when I press the uh, Windows key, that's the command key. And when I press the uh, Alt key, that's the uh, Option key. That's the Option and Alt key. And when I press Control, that's the... Uh, yeah, that's... That's the control key, but command is actually this. It's kind of confusing when you're transitioning from a Windows based. To, yeah, it's kind of confusing when you're. Ah, that command won't work. It's kind of confusing when you're transitioning from a Windows PC to a to an OS 10 platform. So yeah. So, what can we do with this setup? Well, here are a few things we cannot do as of yet. We cannot use anything that requires a webcam. Unless I find a hack to plug the uh, PlayStation Eye to my computer, which I don't see why you would want to, because considering that this camera, considering that the image quality produced by this camera is subpar to what most webcams are today. I can't talk. Yeah. That's... And with this setup, you only get two USB ports, as I said before. I really need to invest in a wireless keyboard and a Preferably one with a trackpad. Um, I wonder if Logitech makes 
keyboards with multi-touch trackpads. Though I could be wrong. Multi-touch gestures on OS X are exclusive to OS X, though I don't think any third-party Windows-based trackpad would yeah I don't I don't think it would work that well on a Mac so well I'm gonna play around actually you know what where's my copy of Kiki's delivery service where is my copy of Kiki's delivery ah here it is all right I'm going to pop it oh shit it's hard to do things one-handed. All right. Let's pop this sucker into my MacBook Pro's uh, drive. And uh, on the keyboard, we don't have an eject. We don't have a dedicated eject key. Let's insert this DVD into my MacBook Pro's Super Drive slot. And uh, the uh, DVD player app should be launching right now. Hmm. Well, there we go. It's actually launching. And, of course, this would be very useful if I had a remote control. And as you can see, we have a it's a very nice setup here. You can actually use our mouse on the DVD menu. Um, of course, DVDs the resolution of a DVD is subpar to what today's media demands. So we're going to stop it. I hope I don't get any copyright notices for this video, especially for showing any kind of copyrighted material. Let's move this uh, control panel up here. I don't know why it was right here to begin with. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Uh, another thing to note, let's command Q this by pressing Windows and Q. There we go. Yeah, I hate using a Windows-based keyboard. Now, there are only two ways to eject a DVD or a CD from the Super Drive. You can either right-click it and click on Eject, or press, or press Command-E, or in my case, Windows-E. And as you can see, the disc pops out. Very useful. Now, because now because the MacBook Pro is closed, I don't think the display is awake. So that'll definitely that'll definitely be a lot easier on the battery because the battery drains a little quicker when the display is on. But since I'm using my TV as a display, that doesn't really matter in the slightest. I don't know why that receipt fell out to begin with. And again, I apologize for the mess. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. So, what about... So, yeah, um, that's all I really have to say about, uh, the, uh, about using your MacBook as a desktop PC or a, in my case, a home theater PC. That's pretty much how you do it. You just use the, uh, mini display port, yeah, the mini display to HDMI adapter, an HDMI cable, and you definitely need to plug in a mouse and keyboard if you're going to have the thing closed. Yeah, so, uh, that's pretty much it. 
Oh, watch what happens when I open it. Watch what happens. The screen turns on. And watch what happens when I close, when I put my Mac to sleep. Oh, I guess nothing really happens. Let me turn off my TV and watch what happens. Sorry about Anyways. that. I had to move both my video files to my Mac because I am low on space for some reason. In any case, uh, let's put my Mac to sleep. Or, or you know what, let's just uh, unplug this. Uh, this might be a bit risky, but here we go. Okay, and as you can see, the format returns to a 16 by 10 format. So, of course, I, of course, when I was about to demonstrate this, yeah. I ran out of space so um, so this could be useful in uh, yeah this can be useful in being a home theater PC even though it's not really a PC it's a Mac um, yeah so uh, what am I uh, what else am I gonna say Anyway, this is what happens when you, this is how you mirror a MacBook Pro onto a TV screen, and the many pros and cons that come with it. The major pros are, you get to see what's on the screen, I mean, of course, uh, everything is scaled to a larger size when yeah, everything's scaled to a larger size when mirrored. But of course, when you change the resolution in the options screen, you unfortunately... I mean, if I set it to a 1080p... Go to a... Hold on, let me go to my TV. Now, I'm going to go to the... Uh, now this is much easier to see. I'm going to go to System Preferences. Mm. Displays once again. And of course this ugly ass window pops up. And uh, what's going to happen when we switch to uh, at least 720p because that's what my TV is. It's just a 720p television set. But look what happens when I set it to 1080p. Actually, nothing really happens. It just <laughs> it just looks a little smaller, that's all. <laughs> and uh watch what happens when I change it to 720p, however. Watch. The uh <laughs> shit. Well, the resolution is uh downgraded. I mean, my TV can support up to 720p. However, there's a little bit of uh, image bleedage, which means a lot of the image on the on all the sides are pretty much cut off. So I'm going to put it back to uh, 1080p. I mean, I can always zoom in. Of course. Uh, um, wait, let me put it on a uh, what the hell? Oh, um, you know what? Yeah. Mm, I don't understand why it's... Let's uh, put it back to where I had it before and set it to 1080p. Okay. 
There, that's better. Now let's close this out. Yeah. The images may look a little smaller, but I can always zoom in by holding the, uh, oh shit. Uh, well, let me put my phone on the, uh, on something tall, like stack a few of these boxes. That's a good thing I didn't really clean up in here. Uh, as I said, I apologize for the mess. Do like this. It's a little unstable. Oh shit! I hope this thing doesn't fall. Um, in any case, I hope you could see this. So, uh, we hold the uh, actually we hold we hold the uh, control key and zoom in. Well, because it's a Mac keyboard. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is close the Mac, the screen will black out for a moment, and uh, it will unfortunately go back to this resolution, so I better change that. Yet again, I hate to do this. Um, Yeah, we do have a little bit of bleedage, unfortunately. We can barely see what's on the Yeah, we can barely see what's on the top menu bar here with this mode and with it closed like this. So uh yeah, I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna set it back to this. What's this? Yeah, what does this do? What the shit? Oh, oh, oh man. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is so disorienting. <laughs> That's if you want to turn your TV to the side and have it like a vertical monitor. <laughs> That's crazy. That's what rotation does. So let's see what happens when we open my, my MacBook Pro again. The uh, resolution changes to this. And yeah. So, what did we learn, ladies and germs? Okay, let's, uh, oops. I didn't want to open the App Store. Son of a bitch. No, I did not want to open the App Store. What I wanted to open was the system preferences. God, I'm a blind bat. This resolution is awesome, but uh, unfortunately, I can't see well, so. Yeah, where the, you know what, let's zoom in. Okay. For this display, I'm going to put it back here. That should do it. Close these windows. There we go. Um, so, yeah. So, I guess not everything works out as planned, unfortunately. Yeah, the resolution changes a bit. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize I was. I didn't mean to have the light in your eye. <laughs> Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, in any case, uh, this has been Walk Me Through. I'm Mr. Orthopedia. Say peace, and that's a wrap.